I found out about audiology and speech pathology literally through flipping through the course catalog book. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dr. David Alexander, and I'm a clinical assistant professor here at Towson University, and I'm also an Army audiologist at the rank of captain. An audiologist is a person who assesses, evaluates, diagnoses, and manages individuals with hearing and balance issues. I graduated through my undergraduate program, but because I was contracted to go into the Army, I did the Army path, and I flew helicopters. And then I came to a point in my career where I wanted to change. One of the professors who knew about my background in the communication science disorders invited me to observe some clinic sessions. And the first session that I saw was a cochlear implant mapping where there's this device that can be surgically implanted and someone can perceive sound. And I thought it was the coolest thing. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. I'll, I'll do that. When I think about the future of audiology, there's one thing that really comes to mind is just a, the evolution of technology. How are things changing and really how fast is it changing? A lot of times people think of hearing aids as just a device you put on your ears and it helps you hear better. Well, some hearing aids can connect directly to an iPhone or an Android phone. And so as an audiologist, you need to be on the forefront in well, what that technology is, what it's about, because guess who's gonna be teaching the patient how to use those functions? It's gonna be the audiologist. One thing that I really like about this field is the stability that it offers. Just to put it out there, the, the pay's not bad. I really uh, like that aspect, um, who wouldn't? The field is so wide open that you can take these different paths so you don't get bored.